This is the Yeti Arc, Yeti's modern day hardtail. It certainly looks like an amazing bike, but does it ride like an amazing bike? Now Yeti described this as the ultimate feedback steed suitable for any trail. Now I've been riding this for six months and is it suitable on any trail? Keep watching to find out. So look, in terms of the spec level of this bike, when I got this six months ago, there weren't exactly a lot of stock in New Zealand. So I ended up going for, when you look on the Yeti website, it's pretty much the C2 build. So it's predominantly SRAM GX. It's just got the performance fork. Man, I'm pretty happy with it. It, it runs really smooth. Apart from that, you've got the DT Wiss wheels, mini and tire on the front and an aggressor on the rear. The brakes. Guide ours. So as I was saying, I get asked on most rides, people are saying, what's this bike like to ride? Can it actually get down any trails or does it just look good? So with that in mind, I've signed up for the 2W Enduro race in Rota Road this coming weekend. This will be a real challenge for the bike. I think to do any Enduro race on a hardtail is going to be one hell of a challenge, especially on one that's it's only got 130 mil of travel. So let's put it through the paces. Let's put myself through our, my paces and see if we can complete the race. In terms of changes to the bike, look, I'll keep the aggressor on the back, the minion on the front. Definitely keep clipped in pedals. Brakes will be a good test for them. So the only change will be this dropper, which is getting sent back. So I'll change that for the axis dropper on my SB150. And let's see how we'll get on. I think a respectable, um, I think a respectable goal is just to finish the race in one piece. But if we come mid-table, I think that's going to be a one hell of an achievement on this bike. So here we go, I've just signed in, got my race number. So let's um, get it on the bike. Here we go, it's all official now, ready to race. So the tracks today are a mix of grade 3, grade 4 and grade 5, made worse by the weather. So it's going to be interesting to see how, see how this baby gets on. Now the race has been delayed by 45 minutes. I'm so glad I'm in this caravan. It's raining. It's freezing. Meanwhile I'm sat here having a brew. Don't get much better than that. Oh, be a hot that. Now the conditions were that bad, within about 30 seconds my camera got covered in mud on the lens or mud on the microphone, so I was unable to use most of the footage I got from the day, so enjoy the few small clippets I've got from the actual race. So again, this is pretty wet and slimy but this bike is surprisingly grippy. <laughs> Shit. The brakes, how are doing proud? Need a bit of brake power on this stuff. Oh god. So just on stage one, it's a grade three. It wasn't too bad for the bike. Um, a bit sloppy in places. Took the jumps pretty easy. Yeah, easily handleable. 
Is that a word? Anyway, the bike handled it, easy. No dramas. On the uphill now, hard tail is quite smooth. So it's good. It's when it gets a bit rooty and rocky because you haven't got any rear suspension absorbing it you lose a fair old bit of momentum but on trails like this it's nice and happy you can ride these all day and you're nice and comfy so stage two done forgot to turn my camera on again what a dickhead i'll just get that excited anyway bike's doing awesome so far um next is a grade five it's pretty wet boggy off camber routes all that real, real goodness we know and love so it's going to be a real test for the bike and the rider especially after a couple of hundred people have been through it today so wish me luck for the bike okay so this is minerals grade five super wet oh shit oh. Hold it on for life so as hard as this is on a hard tail, I've got to say, oh, so much fun. Constantly living on the edge. It's like being on ice skates. Oh. Oh. This is so wet, man. My shoes are solid. The pad slipped off in the rain. You need an insanely strong core to control your bike on this stuff, especially on a hard tail. You've got to follow the MTB Games Endura program. I thought it might have that. Oh. oh, can't see now. Too much mud in my eye. Oi. So, so minerals done. Fell off trying to pass someone and smoke five people. That is nuts. It's like a mud bath all the way down. Um, one bad thing on that trail, I lost my bottle. What a bottle that is. Three down, two to go. Oh. Just like drains your power. Putting your foot down as hard as you can. Just wheel spinning, not getting anywhere. Oh. Certainly hard work. See so if we can get up this. Here we go. Uh, about two thirds of the way now. Up the never ending hill. Been going about half an hour. Again, this bike has got lovely geometry. It's not like an XC race bike. It's not a full-on Enduro, it's kind of somewhere in the middle. It's quite unrelaxed for going up the hills. Isn't it? Right. Focus again. <laughs> last one. Should we get last one? Cheers. See ya. Right, last one. Has come off already. That muddy. Oh god. Shit. This box has that much mud in it. Oh. Now, that pedal in my pad is smacking on my cracks and just slipping down with all the mud. You can't see how bad the course is. Water bottles everywhere. Probably one of the best conditions I've ridden today. That's the shit. That's 
blood in my eyes. God dear. Oh. Oh. Made it. Five done, one piece. So how did it get on? Well, oh, let me take that off. Oh God, that's hot. It's safe to say the Yeti Art did brilliant today. It can handle an Enduro course, a tough one like this. Today it was super wet, super muddy. As you've seen, conditions are bonkers. Lots of people will be a DNF today. And this bike just sucked it all up. There's a couple of things where, with only 130 mil travel, it really struggled. But apart from that, like the grip, it handles, it's wicked. I'm blown away by this bike, really. It's done. Like, don't get me wrong, I'd have probably had, oh, I'd have been a lot faster on my SB150. But, what do you have had the amount of fun he had on this? Like, this is a lot of fun to ride. It's so different than a big enduro bike sucking it all up. So yeah, those who say you can't ride enduro on a hardtail, I'm afraid you can. And this is an enduro qualifier for the EWS. Go Yeti. Right then, so it's the day after the race. I've had a shower, I'm a lot cleaner. The bike's had a shower, it's a lot cleaner. It's had a lube, about as clean as I ever get them anyway. So how did we get on? How did the bike do? Okay, so in my class, I came fourth. We got one stage win, stage second, and a fourth in one stage. So I think that's pretty respectable. We said at the start, look, to finish it in one piece and come mid table is one hell of an achievement. So to come fourth in my class, top 10% overall, pretty buzzing with that really. You've seen the terrain and the conditions were bonkers. Grade threes, fours, and fives. So we're literally through everything at the bike and it's handled it all brilliant so look, the one thing i'd say about the bike it did amazing on the day on the ups and on the downs the only one little criticism i'd have is maybe with the forks look the 130 mil travel on a fox 34 every now and again it started to struggle a bit as you're really going at speed over them tree roots drops jumps and it's just constant you can start to feel a bit of that if you need you know good strong forearms i guess that to keep holding on as it's as them forks are taking one hell of a beating but look we showed you can get down you can get down pretty fast i was racing after all trying to get down these as fast as i could and we we did a respectable result fourth so you know it can't be that bad can it so the yeti arc look in summary, I guess it is a do-it-all bike. If you want to go do a Sunday jolly with your wife or your kids, it's definitely going to handle that. If you want to just cruise to the shops and look cool, definitely does that, look at it. And if you want to get rowdy with your mates and start hitting some jumps, racing enduro, it's going to do that. You might not come first, but I'll tell you what, you're going to have one hell of a smile on your face doing it because it's a, it's a lot of fun to ride this bike. But I'm not all about head angle this and seat tube length that. For me, it's more about get on the bike, have a ride. What does it feel like and is it fun? Is it going to put a smile on your face? Are you going to love it? And I think we've shown that with this bike, definitely it's going to put a smile on your face and you're going to get down most of the stuff. So if you enjoyed the video, give us a like, maybe write us a comment, and even better, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Cheers.